So here, sound wave travels through air. This is a uh, Winter 20 paper 1, 2. And air particles vibrate. A graph of displacement against time for a single air particle is shown. So we can see that the air particle uh, sometimes vibrate with a negative displacement. So maybe the, wear part the air particle vibrate to the left. And then after that, the air particle vibrate to the right. And then after that, it vibrates to the left. Okay, so air particle is actually oscillating. Okay, in so maybe here would be the negative displacement. Maybe here would be the positive displacement. Okay, assuming that the direction of wave or the direction of energy transfer is here. All right, which graph shows how kinetic energy of air particles varies with time? Okay, whenever I see kinetic energy, I think of velocity. So I guess I want to know where is the velocity maximum and where is the velocity zero? Because I look at this, all got zero. Okay, so I know velocity is zero when, you see, uh, this displacement is st graph. So v is equal to rate of change of displacement which coincidentally happens to be the gradient of your st graph. And where is the gradient zero? My friends, the gradient is zero here, all the turning points here, 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 and here. Ooh, so all these points, huh? ds dt equal to zero, which is equal to v. So there have to be five different points where the ke is zero. There are five points. Okay, let's count. And the KE must be zero when T equal to zero to honor this point. KE must be zero here. KE must be zero here. Okay? Do we have five instances? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, answer is D. Okay? Where is maximum KE? Let's just double check. Maximum KE happens when the gradient is the steepest. Where is the steepest position? Here, lo, miss, this one look very steep. Ah. This one also very steep. Very steep, very steep. Good job. All of this here, your gradient, the SDT, is maximum. So your KE is maximum four times. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Huh? Okay. So use gradient. Nah? Unless you have learned simple harmonic motion, oscillation, then you've got other tools to use. But if you don't have, use the gradient. The displacement of the particle. You want to know kinetic energy, you seek velocity. You want to know velocity from a displacement time graph, seek the gradient. Look at the behavior of the gradient. When the gradient is zero, velocity is zero, Ke will be zero. When the gradient is maximum, which is all, all this uh, maximum point, okay, inflection point, then there are four inflection points. Gradient maximum means velocity maximum. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's it for this question.